I'm Jesus, and in this video, we're going to be looking at CSGO's one-of-a-kind skins, sponsored by Skinport, the quick, easy, and safe skins marketplace where you can sell your skins for real cash. More about them later. So, there are two types of one-of-a-kind skins in CSGO. The first type is souvenirs. Now, we're only interested in certain souvenirs, specifically souvenirs from DreamHack Winter 2013 and souvenirs from Katowice 2014. Now, the reason these one-of-a-kind souvenirs exist is because these majors have three unique souvenir collections. The Lake Collection, the Safe House Collection, and the Italy Collection. Now, these skins themselves are completely trash, but the skip bin that you get them from, the souvenir packages, happen to be extremely rare and worth anything from $200 to $400. And because a few of the skins in these collections are difficult to unbox, well, a few of them ended up being one of a kind. So let's have a look at our list of one of a kind skins, the, the confirmed bachelors of Counter-Strike. So first of all, we've got the well-worn Cobalt Quartz Dual Berettas. Um, great souvenir sticker there, really reminds you that it's special. Secondly, there is the factory new M4A1S Nitro. Yes, this is the rarest M4 skin in the game. And there is also the Battle Scarred Pit Viper. Uh, this one, I've got to admit, looks miles better than the last two. And there is also the factory new or Condemned, which again, actually looks kind of okay. There's the factory new MP9 Orange Peel. I don't know, it's, it's orange, I guess they got that right. And there's the factory new Desert Eagle Mudder. Yes, this is the rarest eagle skin in the game. It looks like trash. And finally, we have the factory new P2000 Granite Marbleized. Now, this Granite Marbleized is actually fairly interesting because no one actually knows where it is. It's a mystery. It was last seen in the hands of this seedy looking bloke called Mac, but it's not clear what happened to it. Frank Furter, a well-known trader, inquired about it in 2018, but he wasn't successful in getting it, and the skin has outright disappeared since then. It's disappeared from Mac's inventory, and no one really knows where it's ended up. Although, judging by the look of Mac, my guess would be at the bottom of the river with 500 kilograms of cement on its feet. And this isn't the only mystery surrounding these skins either. Notably, four of the other skins belong to this guy called Quo, who apparently bought them back in 2014, so ages and ages ago, and he's been unsuccessfully trying to sell them ever since, apparently because he asked for way too much money, and you can even see this in the history of some of his items on exchange too. I mean, he's clearly tried selling the Nitro on OP skins and bit skins, but I, I guess each time it didn't work out and he couldn't get the price he was after. So I gotta commend this guy on his persistence. Clearly he will not settle for a discount and he's got an amazing inventory of souvenirs too, for that matter. It's really impressive. And of the final two skins, the Pit Viper belongs to a guy who got VAC banned nearly five years ago. That was a not stonks and the other belonged to some Chinese guy who hasn't played the game in Yonks, so it might actually be lost as well. Now, I want to finish up by giving you a sense of just how hard to get these souvenirs are. So, just consider the odds of getting this factory new Nitro. So, there are six collections in this package. You've got a 1 in 156 chance of getting a Nitro, and then that Nitro has a 1 in 178 chance of being factory new. So, that's a 1 in 167,142 chance. And since these packages are $200 minimum, unboxing a factory new Nitro these days would cost something like $33 million. So it's little wonder that this skin is one of a kind. Now, the second type of one of a kind items are knives. And there are a lot of one of a kind knives. In fact, there are some knives that are so rare they don't even exist yet. The only problem is I've looked at a lot of these knives all over the place in different videos. So for example, there's the one of a kind glitched no star crayon, but I've got a separate video where I'll look at that. And there's also the Stat Track Minimal Wear Black Pearl Knives. A bunch of these don't even exist yet, and the ones that do are all one of a kind. And they're also generally considered to be the rarest knives in CSGO. But again, I've got a video that goes over this already, and I want to focus on something new instead. You see, a lot of the missing knives, the knives that don't exist yet, as Shattered Web Knives, and thanks to the newly released Fracture Case, which contains the Shattered Web Knives, some of them are finally starting to be unboxed. So, for example, there's been a bunch of blue gem patterns that have been unboxed for the first time. So, someone unboxed this Pattern ID 577 Paracord Knife for the first time, oh, that's quite a nice knife, and this 55 Pattern Nomad Knife, which is also a very nice blue gem, and someone has also unboxed this Pattern ID 403 Nomad Knife, which again, 
is another very nice blue gem pattern. And not only that, there's been some real progress outside of the Shattered Web Knives since I made my last video on this topic. For example, someone managed to unbox the first ever StatTrack Factory New Ursus Knife Crimson Web just last month. And someone has also managed to unbox the first ever StatTrack Factory New Ultraviolet Navaha Knife in mid-July. And if that's not enough, someone also managed to unbox the first ever StatTrack Factory New Ultraviolet Bayonet, a skin we've been waiting for for years now, and it was finally unboxed during late June. And keep in mind, these knives would have required tens of millions of dollars worth of keys to open. Gaben is probably very proud of us. So these are three brand new, one-of-a-kind knives. They're a pretty good effort just for a couple of months since I you know, last discussed the subject, but having said all of this, most of the super rare shadow web knives still don't exist. Most of the stat track factory new stuff still hasn't been unboxed, but I think there's going to be a lot of fracture cases being unboxed, and I think we're going to see a lot of brand new one of a kind knives. But it is a double edged sword because with all these new knives being unboxed, some of these items aren't going to remain one of a kind. Years and years ago, McSkillet did a video on this exact same topic, and one of the skins he showed was the factory new souvenir masterpiece. And sure, it was one of a kind back then, but these days, there's 39 of this skin. These lists don't stay the same forever, and in a couple of years time, we might have a very different set of one of a kind skins. Isn't that right, Chairman G? Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, subscribe, massively appreciate it. And a big thank you to Skinport for sponsoring this channel. Skinport, formerly known as Skin Bay, it's the same site. All that's changed is the name, is a skins marketplace and cash out site. It's safe, convenient, easy to use. It's got a super competitive sales fee of 5% if you put skinport.com in your username. A really, really low fee if you're looking to sell your skins. If you're looking to buy instead, it's got a ton of great deals with over 100,000 CSGO skins listed, as well as easy to use deposit and withdrawal options. Awesome site, check it out, link is in the description. Anyway, that's it from me. As always, trust the numbers, not your guts. I'm Jesus, thanks for watching, see ya.